In order to use these as test tiles, we need to get them to stand up in the kiln. The glaze melts and runs just like lava out of a volcano, so we need to be able to see what it looks like when it does that, as opposed to just being flat. So, hopefully you saved some of your scraps. I asked you to. Maybe you listened, maybe you didn't. So I've already got these lines this way with my ruler, one, two. Now I'm gonna go so and make squares. So this is also gonna be one, two, line. One, two. Okay. So that's gonna be my little stand, but I've gotta get it to stick together. So this is called slipping and scoring, and it is probably the most important part of ceramics. In order to get clay, two pieces of clay, to really bond, we need to rough up the surface. So it's not enough to just kind of cut through it, you've got to scratch into it. And then we take what's called slip, which is just watered down clay, and you're always welcome to add more water to your slip, it tends to dry out over time. I put a little bit of slip on this piece, on this piece, and then I'm gonna scratch again in the opposite direction. So if I went side to side, I'm gonna go up and down. Don't be afraid to put a little bit of force, like I'm pushing down to get that to stick. And then I kind of test, passes, then I'm just gonna take a feddling knife or another tool and sort of blend the seam. That will also make, not only will it make it look better, but it will add a little bit of strength. It's kind of like vacuum packing or zip locking. And then the final thing I need to do is label all my test tiles. So each tile is gonna get a number. So this is number one. The next tile would be number two but then you're also gonna label it for your color group. So I sit at the orange table, O, as well as period. So let's say that this is seventh period. Tile number one, orange table, seventh period. This will be tile number two, orange table, seventh period. Okay, make sure you're labeling everything correctly. Get all 16 tiles done today. Thank you.